<laughs> Does this happen to you? You need to use the mower. You got company coming over later, or you're getting ready for a party tomorrow, and the mower won't run. It won't stay running. If this is your position, then you're here at the right place because I'm gonna show you how to fix that in literally just a few minutes. First, we need to find the carburetor. Where is the carburetor on a mower like this? Well, let's take a look down around here. Right there it is. So that's what we need to get to. In order to get to that, you will in this screw. That way you can take the top off. And while we're in here, we'll go ahead and clean this this air filter if you have a little if you have a little air air tank you can blow that out otherwise this might suffice so what you want to do is get yourself a set of vice grips like this it don't have to be anything fancy and you want to turn this in here my pinky finger turn it in so that it closes pretty tight because what we're going to do is we're going to pinch out the fuel line so that it doesn't leak when we take this carburetor apart but before you get excited thinking oh man i never had a, a carburetor part before i've always heard that there are parts moving parts and and can never get it back together well it's not going to be that hard so hang tight second your mower we run in the end. Okay right underneath the carburetor is what they call a bowl and there's a float inside that. And you can see right here is a is a nut. It's a bolt that goes up through. We will take that out. And you can do that with either socket 14 millimeter or I'm sorry a half inch is what fits on that or you can use an open end wrench which, or you can use an open end wrench depending on what you have but this you have to be really careful you don't round off the nut now you'll take it loosen that up like this now the fuel will run out but you don't have to worry because it's not going to run for long. It's probably a good idea to have have gloves on to do this. This is what we have. We have the bowl that we just took off. We have this is the screw that goes up inside, and then you got a brass washer to kind of help seal it. Inside, there is a hole through here. There will be most likely dirt in there, so I have to find myself a pin. So, we need to find something to poke through this little tiny hole. Most people have a paper clip, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this. Okay, we got this opened up and stick 
got right in that hole and we got that pushed out the dirt that was in there. Take some car planter like this, you can pick this up at any auto parts store, and then you want to spray this all out and clean it. That way there's no grass and, and debris up in there when we put this back together. You put the uh, brass washer on there and put that in here like this. Pick this up and slide it right back up into place where it was and tighten it. And then take your ratchet. Make sure you put this air filter back on. Didn't really need to take it off other than to clean it. Because we're going to try this. We're going to try the mower now and let's see if it starts. Silly me. It's not going to start. There's no fuel going into the carburetor. What do we got to do to fix that? Let's take this off. Make sure there's no dripping anywhere. It's not dripping. Well, another job well done. And we're going to test this out this afternoon to see if it stays running. But anyhow, if you've seen this content to be very helpful to you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel in return to help you. And until the next time, if you haven't already, subscribe. That way you don't miss out on any other do-it-yourself videos. And... Until the next time, you guys have a great day.